27th, 2017. Uh, I just got a couple of images from somebody that wants to remain anonymous of what could be Planet X. It could be um, incredibly concentrated swamp gas from Uranus. It could be, as Chris Potter coined, a giant cheese sandwich. But I don't know. I mean, it, this thing is incredible. Look at this, you guys. You can see it right next to the sun. And some of you might ask, wow, that, that looks pretty darn good. Where is this from? Well, this is from Hawaii. Somebody sent me this that was on vacation in Hawaii. They took the image. And I've got another one I'm going to share with you here in a second. They were just completely blown away, so they sent it to me. And I'm thinking to myself, okay, what is the most realistic possibility of this anomaly that I'm looking at here? Could it be a, a lens reflection? You guys know how a lot of these cameras, the way that they're set up, they've got different lenses, and if it picks up on something extremely bright, it's going to have a secondary object of that same light source. So I'm looking at the angle of this thing. I'm looking at the color. I'm looking at the, how solid it looks, and it's pretty awesome in my opinion. It's definitely worth bringing to your attention because let's say I get anywhere from 100 to 1,000 images a week sometimes more of what people think is Planet X. And 99.9 something percent of these images I can debunk right away. Absolutely no questions. And I've even had experts in the past that have seen the videos, or I don't even necessarily say they're experts, but they work in the fields of um, like special effects, graphics and stuff like that. And a lot of the pictures that look legit, you can debunk if you know the environment that those images are taken in. But what I find fascinating about this image specifically is I don't see a lot of contrails. I don't see a lot of chemtrails. I don't see a lot of stratosphere aerosol injections. I do see a beautiful image of the sun. And to the left of it, it looks like a, a binary star or something. I mean, it looks like it's doppelganger almost. It's not the same size. It's a different color. It's not taken from a webcam. It was taken from a very nice camera. So this is an image that I would like somebody that can either, you know, say, hey, that's definitely uh, an anomaly. I don't know what it is. I can't debunk it and I've debunked a million pictures before or say yep it's it's a, a camera lens anomaly because of the type of lens that was used so it's a pretty cool image in my opinion I wanted to share this with you now I'm going to share the next image with you that was taken in Hawaii on top of the mountain out there I think the it's approximately 12,000 feet up if I'm not mistaken this viewpoint I mean look at that is that cool or what you can see you know, the, the sun looks just gorgeous it's that that deep orange red just just kind of electrifying. I think this is a pretty cool image as well. So is this just a, a reflection of the sun? It, it could very well be, but it's a different color. It looks pretty solid. I, I don't see any clouds in front of it, but I don't see any clouds behind it either. I mean, there's just a little bit of cloud cover up above that. So this is definitely an image that goes in conjunction with the one we just looked at. Maybe you can debunk it. Maybe you can't. So maybe this is the infamous Planet X. Maybe this is a brown dwarf star. You know, or maybe it's just a, a lens reflection. So there's so many people out there, though, that see these videos. I think that this is a good way to stimulate the possibilities. And if somebody – but let me ask you this, okay? Let's say you see this with your own eyes. And then you take a picture of it and you see the same thing in the picture. Is that still lens flare? So that, that's, you know, I mean, that's what I want to know. How is it still lens flare? If you can see it at the same time you're taking that image, how is that lens flare? I don't know. So that's the, the next image I want to share with you. And then I also wanted to share with you guys, let's go to the next one here. This was sent from somebody anonymous. That This was taken basically out by their house. And I just wanted to remind you guys that chemtrails do not exist. They're not real. Uh, it's just for conspiracy theorists. If you see stuff like this, you guys know it's normal. I mean, it's, it's just commercial jets going from point A to point B. There's nothing to see here, ladies and gentlemen. They're not trying to block the sun. They're not trying to change the weather or geoengineer the planet. This is, this is not chemtrails. They, they don't exist. They don't exist. All right, so, and then, here we go. Here's another one of chemtrails that don't exist. This, this isn't real. I, I, I was called a conspiracy theorist the other day in the comments section because I, I said I, I've seen chemtrails plenty of times. I mean, you can see them almost daily, but they're not real, you guys. They're, they're just for conspiracy theorists. So I just wanted to show you guys what's not real uh, this is all just a part of your imagination. Just a part of your imagination. <laughs> so anyway, that's it. Uh, I'll bring you some more information throughout the day. I'm going to do my best to do anywhere from five to ten of these a day. Maybe we'll even do more just quick updates. I know a lot of you guys don't have two, three hours of setting to listen to a, a long conversation or philosophical discussion or, you know, whatever. So we're still going to do those. Um, I've got a really good show coming up here at, I think, 4 o'clock approximately. It's going to be with a gentleman that has a YouTube channel with about 50,000 subscribers. And he is an expert with, with guns and ammunition and, and tactical gear and stuff like that. So this is going to be a neat podcast. It's a little bit different. 
And then we've got another podcast tonight at 9 o'clock with Aeon Flow. So I had him on the show once before about a year ago. It was quite a while ago, and I'm looking forward to that discussion. So one thing, too, that I wanted to bring to your attention about chemtrails that don't exist, that aren't real, I've noticed since I got my telescope, and I've only had this thing for a few weeks, when the moon was, was really bright and full, they were spraying a lot more chemtrails, or I'm sorry, these fake cloud patterns or these commercial jet airlines were flying strategically in specific areas which caused dissipation of these essentially clouds to block the sun and the moon. I've noticed it not only with, with the moon cycles, but now I'm noticing it with the sun because I've got this really cool filter that goes around the telescope that gets rid of 99% of the light. And I got a few minutes glimpse the other day, yesterday actually, of the sun and I could see these really cool solar flares popping out. It was this really deep orange color. It was fascinating, but then all of a sudden the clouds started to cover it up. So here's a new theory on chemtrails that don't exist and the way that they spray them at certain times in certain areas, et cetera. It's just, you know, this is just a, a theory. What if something is going on around the moon and around the sun and in certain areas, you know, space wars, space weapons, new technologies, planes, jets, whatever, that they don't want us seeing? Maybe there's stuff going on, on the moon. Maybe they're doing something out there right now that somebody like myself, like you, if you've got a telescope or somebody else that has a decent scope, could pick up on, and they know that. So they're like, okay, what do we do to stop this? Well, we know that area, they're going to be able to see a specific part of the moon, and we have stuff going on out there, so we're going to block it out. Just a conspiracy theory, I know, but that's something that, that was uh, kind of going through my mind, especially because I had a show the other day with a gentleman that is a targeted individual, he claims, and he, he said, have you noticed that the – the moon cycles and the chemtrails that don't exist kind of go hand in hand. And I thought to myself, yeah, that's actually a, a good point. And I noticed that more over the past couple of weeks, too. So there you go. Question everything. Hey, guys. January 27th, 2017. Uh, I just got a couple of images from somebody that wants to remain anonymous of what could be planet X. It could be um, incredibly concentrated swamp gas from Uranus. It could be, as Chris Potter coined, a giant cheese sandwich. But I don't know. I mean, it, this thing is incredible. Look at this, you guys. You can see it right next to the sun. And some of you might ask, wow, that, that looks pretty darn good. Where is this from? Well, this is from Hawaii. Somebody sent me this that was on vacation in Hawaii. They took the image. And I've got another one I'm going to show you here in a second. They were just completely blown away, so they sent it to me. And I'm thinking to myself, okay, what is the most realistic possibility of this anomaly that I'm looking at here? Could it be a, a lens reflection? You guys know how a lot of these cameras, the way that they're set up, they've got different lenses, 